Hello guys, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to be starting a brand new series. In this series, we're going to be going species by species, showing the easiest way to get a diamond for every animal in the game. The first reserve that we are going to hunt is Hirschfelden, and we are going to start out with the roe deer. Now guys, there are a lot of different ways to get diamonds in this game, whether it's going on multiplayer or just poking around your own map looking for a diamond. But in this series, we're going to look at what I've found to be the best way to consistently spawn diamonds. So whether this is your first diamond or your hundredth, let's get to it. And as we get started here, let's take a look at our loadout. Roe deer are a class 3 species, so I'm running with the Marathi Model 1894 as my primary gun. Um, just for the stopping power, um, I think it's going to be the best option. Um, I'm also running with the, uh, the 22250 as a backup gun, and then the 22 LR I always like to carry along um, just for um, if I need to turn an animal or if I see a, a nice trophy um, bird or rabbit or something, I like to have that. And the shotgun as well for the same reason. Um, I am also running with tent as I set up here um, to uh, uh, start finding all of my zones. Um, and running with a ro uh, the road deer collar, binoculars, and like I said, the tent. So to start out, what we will do is we will start looking for different zones. And so pretty much any waterway here um, is going to have road deer on it. I'm going to start out just by um, popping around and looking for some different spots. Um, drink time is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, so I usually like to start. Um, about 45 minutes after the start of the drink time to let the animals come into their zones. One of the most important parts of um, this grind is finding finding zones for your animals. And so um, typically we will use um, drink zones as those are the easiest to find. Um, you just go during their drink time, find some water and go check it out. But some animals um, don't have drink times. Um, and so rabbits, some different goats on different maps, sheep, um, uh, some birds. And so um, what I find to be really helpful is as you are running through your map at any different point, um, to just be clicking on every need zone you see. Um, because later on when it comes time to hunt for your diamond rabbit, for instance, um, being able to just pop onto your map and... Um, say, oh, there's a diamond, or there's a there's a uh, rabbit uh, feeding zone. Um, will definitely speed up your process versus having to run all around and find those zones when you're ready to do the grind. This is a fairly um, new map, or a fairly new um, um, save um, here on Hirschfelden, so it's pretty free of hunting pressure. We got a roe deer warning call there, but he has not gotten into his zone yet. Let's just see if we can give him a little love here. That's uh, gonna get out. Pheasant there, nice hen. And that's why I like to have a shotgun, just to be ready to shoot something when it comes by. Ah, just a touch low. Just missed it. Alright, and here we go. We have some roe deer in their drink zones. I always like, um, very important to try and spot every single animal because you just never know um, which one is going to be a diamond. So we've got a couple of hinds there and one stag. Buck. And there's another zone with a nice two. So what I'm doing now is just finding what's on my map. Once I find a number of good zones, a um, number of good lakes or areas that have good 
um, drinking zones um, with several in proximity um, to each other, then I will start putting my tents down and setting up for the grind. So um, I may shoot an animal here or there, but the focus right now is just to really um, to find out what's even on my map. So there are kind of a couple ways to, to go about finding your drink zones. Um, the first way is to just do what I'm doing right now, and that's going up to lakes and then just spotting around the entire lake to see um, every animal I can. Um, the other way to do it is um, to go ahead and get on your um, four-wheeler um, after the drink zone has ended and to just drive around the, each of the lakes. Um, and just hop off and pick up every zone you see. Um, either way works. Um, the four-wheeler way is probably a little bit faster because uh, you don't have to sneak up to every lake. Um, but what I like about doing it this way is I can kind of get an idea, a better idea of what I have on my map. I'm spotting where, um, where are the animals, what are they, are they females, um, is it a big herd, is it a small herd. Um, for instance, on this lake, I've only seen one male, level one. And so this probably won't be a lake that I would use during my um, my search for a, a diamond roe deer. But you see, you know, the initial look around the lake, I didn't see much, but I've already picked up two different zones here. That's a nice fallow. So this here is definitely a lake that we'll use um, during our grind, if you want to call it a grind, during our, our, our search for a... A diamond. I've got at least three zones with males on them, um, and so it's not the easiest um, lake to access. There's a lot of thick shrubbery and whatnot, but pretty much every lake on this map is pretty thick. So, yeah, we'll definitely use this zone um, when we're trying to spawn a, a diamond roe deer. I also had one over here in this corner. And I believe there might be one back in that corner. Let's go check. Yeah, there he is. Let's go ahead and take this guy, try and get him in the neck. You, you can just see the total damage that the Maradi does. It goes completely through him, all the way through the lung, back into the liver, stomach, um, through the scapula. So, definitely a high-powered rifle to take these little guys down. Um, with this grind, you can definitely use the 243 or any other class 3 weapon. You can use the um, 223. Um, for me, I like to use the highest power weapon for each animal that I can um, to ensure that I can bring them down as quickly as possible. Um, it saves time in tracking, um, just makes it a quicker process overall when you're trying to get through several deer to try to spawn a diamond. Alright, so when looking for a diamond, something very important is to know the max weight of the animal you're looking for. And so 35 kgs is the max weight of roe deer. So anytime you see a max weight track, um, you should either follow that track or if you have their need zone, come back and check the need zone because there's a good chance um, that'll be either a diamond or a large gold. So I have here um, a max weight track. So during the next um, drinking zone, I'm going to come back here and check this one out. Um, currently, I'm just running the whole this whole um, waterway uh, to see how many zones there are. I've only found a couple, so this probably wouldn't be one that I would hunt um, normally during um, my grind. All right, so once you have <clears throat> enough zones to start grinding, um, then you are going to start the fun part. So you will, oh, hey there, buddy. Um, you will get all your tents placed within about 225 meters 
um, of the zones you're wanting to hunt. And if you want, you can grab tripods in your inventory. You don't have to. It can make it a little bit easier uh, to keep the hunting pressure down. Um, and then at that point, you just start you just start um, cycling through your zones, um, hitting all of the um, all of the ro the male roe deer that you can. Um, if you want to make it a little bit faster, a little bit more work, like I said at the beginning, you can. Um, uh, let me grab this zone real quick. It's a fallow zone. Um, you can leave the ones and just grind on the twos. Um, but the challenge with that is, um, here is the zone. There's one right there. The challenge with that is there are a lot of one level one roe deer. I'm noticing. So you might be picking up tents and switching from lake to lake um, once you get them all down to ones, and that can be a little bit more work. So um, what I'm probably going to do on this um, uh, grind is to um, just pick some zones I really like that have several male deer and then I'm going to um, just grind on those and shoot shoot all of the male roe deer um, so yeah I'm gonna get started doing that this is where the fun part of the grind starts and you're just shooting every male deer um, every male roe deer you're following every um, max weight track and um, waiting for that level three to spawn all right, so here we have a max weight track. You can see up here in the top right corner that it's 35 kgs. So we're just going to follow this and see where it leads. Um, hopefully he's right down here in his zone. Um, sometimes they're not, so... I was hoping for something a little bit bigger on this lake with that max estimate track. Um, just right, um, right next to it, but I have not seen anything bigger than this level one. Um, so we're just going to reach out and grab him. Maybe circle back around and grab that track. Drop a marker right there. Um, and we might follow that one and see where it goes. Let's drop him. Let's see, is he gonna float or is he not? Uh, so we're gonna run over and grab him and see what we got. So it looks like that is the max estimate uh, weight estimate um, roe deer that I had seen earlier and it's just a level two um, decent um, estimate but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him so I don't have to go back and follow that track alright decent level gold there um, obviously not what we're going for but 74.84 is not bad 81.86 is diamond so we're definitely getting closer moving up a little bit in size so on another map uh, we have some roe deer here drinking and a level two and a level one um, this this lake here would be a great lake uh, to grind because there are four different zones uh, need zones on this lake um, with roe deer on them but unfortunately um, as is the case with a lot of maps here on Hirschfelden um, it is just too overgrown to get in more than um, one uh, cycle of uh, kills um, one zone of kills on this one on this lake so um, yeah we're just gonna try and take both of these two and then we'll move on um, Ideally, you'd shoot from far enough back, um, say around 270 meters, 250 meters, um, so that you could grab a couple of different um, zones, need zones, but on this one, it's just not going to be possible. I don't think we got a good contact on that one. Let's switch over to the 243. I've switched to the 243 just because... Um, and he's going down, so he's going to die anyway. Just because the 22-250 wasn't... Um, didn't really have enough stopping power on these roe deer. Um, I was ending up having to track them quite a ways. So I switched to the 243, quite a bit more stopping power just to make those tra tracking sessions a little bit shorter. So at this point, this is the fun part, just hopping lake to lake um, and shooting all the males you see. Like I said, you can leave the ones if you want. Um, it might make it a little bit faster, but it's definitely a little bit more work because um, you're gonna have to find more zones. So um, I like to find a good 10, 15 zones. Um, 10 zones, yeah, that I really like. 
get set up on those and then just hop zone to zone, set the time back um, and run it back. I think it's the easiest way I think I've found to do it, the quickest way. Um, with this uh, method of trying to uh, spawn a diamond, you are definitely going to need a little bit of cash um, to get enough tents. Um, ideally, you'd have all 16 tents and then you could um, um, set up on eight different lakes and have one tent that you hop into to go shoot and then the other um, on the other side of the lake to go retrieve it and make it a lot faster. Um, that's if you want to get really efficient and get a real grind going. Um, this is a little bit more casual. Um, and there's another decent little gold. All right, so I have come back to that zone from earlier, this one right here, um, where uh, we found a couple of max weight tracks. Um, so I have no idea what's in there. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm getting close. This is a place where you can't really shoot from a long distance. You got to get in close, creep in, and just see what's in there. So um, this is the part of the hunt that gets kind of exciting. Um, I like this real world style hunting. Uh, maybe not real world, but um, less of a arcade style just shooting a bunch of animals around the lake I like creeping in close and trying to get in there um, something I like to do um, when I'm going after a, um, a bigger animal or an animal that I might I think might be a diamond is I like to um, bring out a different uh, weapon to shoot it whether it's a bow or a crossbow or a handgun um, for me it just makes it a little bit more uh, of a challenge and exciting to get in there close and, and try and get the kill so um, let's just creep on in there and see what we see. Okay, a spot. okay, that is a big level two. Wow. Okay, definitely gonna get in close to him and try and get a good shot because um, that is our first uh, diamond potential uh, roe deer and. Diamond is about 81, almost 82, and that estimate went all the way up to 89. So that is definitely one worth getting in close and trying to get the kill. And I'm here at about 40 meters, so that's about perfect, actually. So let's go ahead and... Uh, it's risky. Take the shot. And we got him. Nailed him. All right, let's see what he is. And there was another one in there, too. I think... Um, with being that close, it, oh, no, okay, I thought it was going to spook him away, being that close in, but he did not spook, he's still there, so let's see if we can get in close to him as well. There. He's about 85 meters, so a little bit further, but that's another max weight estimate. And he's attentive, so let's go ahead and go prone and... Let's see what we got here. This may be a diamond. I'd be pretty shocked. Um, this was an initial spawn, so um, I'm going to keep going and try to try to spawn one. Um, but you don't see the level twos make it diamond very often. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's a nice looking roe deer. Um, I just love these. They're so popular um, here in Europe. Ooh, okay. 80.88. Just missed it. Man, that was a close one. Um, just a little less than one away from, from making diamond. Oh, what a nice, nice looking roe deer. We'll go ahead and taxi him just because he was so close. I like that, that brown fur color on him. Let's see if we can get this other one. I don't believe it was a um, diamond potential. When I say diamond potential, what I mean is the score up in that top right corner um, could reach all the way up to diamond. and. It technically is, it reaches up to 82, but he he's not as big as that level, and he would have to score at the very top of his estimate. We can still still have a little bit of fun with it. I creeped all the way in here. Set our zeroing to 60. It's gonna be right on the red dot. And let's see what we can do. And we dropped him. Nice, I love this bow. It has such good stopping power, it just drops animals in their tracks. One of my favorite weapons in the game. And we'll wait for him to come in. 76.01 okay so yeah a little bit smaller but still a really nice gold really pleased with him um, scoring very high gold but not quite close enough there to get a diamond 
Um, we are just trying to spawn that level three diamond roe deer. Um, we are doing really well so far. We're about 25 kills in. It's going well, getting decent spawns. And, um, <gasps> and there he is. There is our level three roe deer. He is a guaranteed diamond at an 83 to 94 trophy score estimate. That is a massive roe deer. And guys, this just proves how effective this strategy is. I'm not even 25 kills into this hunt, and I've already spawned this massive level 3 roe deer. He's standing there at about 370 meters, um, drinking, and we are going to get up close and personal and get a good look at him. Um, we're probably going to shoot him with our bow like we did with those other two. That is so exciting, guys. This is such an effective and consistent way to produce diamonds. Um, not only are you seeing so much of your map um, through uh, jumping lake to lake and finding need zones, um, so you're going to find if you already have a diamond on your map, but it allows you to shoot so many uh, animals so efficiently and to see their spawns um, that you're going to see that, that diamond spawn um, pretty quickly uh, on your rotation. Um, this strategy works really well if you're looking for that last um, addition to a multi-mount or if you're trying to complete your lodge or you just really want to shoot a nice animal. Um, this, this is a really great way to consistently spawn really high quality trophy animals. Alright, there he is and he is calm. That is awesome. Okay, 130 meters. Let's see if we can just get him in real close. Now when you guys are choosing um, your skills and perks, one that I find absolutely essential is here in this ambusher one. Um, uh, excuse me, in the stalker. Um, improvised blind further decreases your visibility when inside large bushes and shrubs. Um, I find that one to be so important as well as the soft feet. Um, that allows you to really get good cover um, and move through your map. Uh, through your reserve quietly and um, efficiently. Let's just see if we can get this guy to come in. Now I could always just, you know, go to 150 meters, pull out my Marathi, and just, um, you know, get an easy kill that way. But for me, this game is all about the excitement of that, that real world style hunting uh, as much as possible. And so, um, stalking in close to an animal with your bow I just you know it doesn't get better than that so like I said guys this strategy um, it works really well it's not the most simulated real world hunting another there are other ways to get diamonds hopping on multiplayer and just running around seeing what you see that's one of my favorite ways to hunt you just never know what you're gonna come up against what you're gonna see if you're gonna find a rare or a diamond um, and so that's probably my favorite way to hunt but if you're looking for a specific diamond, um, a specific trophy, um, that's not necessarily the best way, the most efficient way to, to, to get that. Um, you're going to have better luck um, targeting that species, killing as many as you can. And, and you guys see how effective this, this strategy is. Um, in just a couple of sessions of shooting, just you know, 25 kills quick setup with some tents and finding the zones and we've already spawned this absolutely stunning trophy road here. And we got him guys. Good contact there. Oh, that was so much fun. Such a fun stock. Uh, we tried calling him in. He did not respond to the call. Looked like he got caught up on the water a little bit. So we just got in real close to about 20 meters and took him down. Oh, what a beautiful trophy. 86.04. That is a stunning roe deer. Um, that is awesome. That is a good trophy. Let's see. Got him through the heart. That was actually a little bit further forward than I was thinking. It must have been at a weird angle. So I'm very fortunate to have gotten through that, that front shoulder into the lung, into the heart. That takedown bow has such good stopping power. Um, now for the best part is putting them in the lodge. So um, I am going to be filling out my um, Leighton Lake trophy cabin with the, the trophies that we get from the, this series. 
Um, and so one by one through Hirschfelden and Leighton, we are just going to fill this, this lodge up. Um, I've already got a couple in there. We'll replace a few of them. Um, and then as we get further into the grind, we'll, we'll put some, some animals in my main trophy lodge. So I've already got a handful in here. My nice, uh, great one fallow deer, um, from one of my fallow grinds. My very first great one ever in the game, a big great one moose. Um, and then some other nice de uh, trophies that I've gotten. All right, let's go ahead and put that roe deer in there. That is awesome. Let's switch there. I love it. It looks so great. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any other animals that you really want to see in this series, um, any other um, specific videos that you'd like me to put out, please leave a comment. Um, subscribe, follow the channel. Um, really appreciate you guys' support. Thanks, guys.